let's have a look at a sum where it is a partnership retirement and the retiring partner is not paid immediately and we are going to deal with goodwill in this sum so the sum goes as saran arun and karana partners in a firm sharing profits and losses in the ratio 4 is to 3 is to 3 so this is the profit sharing ratio the balance sheet is uh, as on 31-12-2016 was as follows. So when we look at the balance sheet, we have general reserve which is an accumulated profit on the liability side, an accumulated reserve on the liability side. So we are going to split up the reserve and give it to the partners in the, cap, in the old ratio which goes into the capital account credit side. Next we have in the adjustment current retires, so the third partner retires subject to the following conditions. They have given goodwill of the firm which will be recorded in the capital account and point number 2, 3, 4, 5 is relating to the revaluation of assets and liabilities and finally they have said final amount due to current is not paid immediately. So uh, it is going to be transferred to current's loan account in the capital account which we opened. So prepare necessary ledger account and show the balance of the firm after retirement. So let's start with the revaluation account. So we have the format of the revaluation account on the debit side as well as on the credit side. So the first adjustment according to the revaluation which is given over there is point number two which is machinery to be appreciated by 10 percentage. So machinery is an asset and appreciation means increase in the value of asset. So it will be recorded on the credit side of the revaluation account and they have given 10 percentage. So looking at machinery on the balance sheet they have given 40,000 into 10 percentage, simple remove this 10, we get 4,000 in the outer column. Moving on into the next adjustment is the third point, buildings to be valued at 80,000. So when we have at or to, we have to compare it with the previous that is in the balance sheet. In the balance sheet, buildings is 60,000, whereas here in the adjustment building is 80,000. So when comparing it, buildings has increased in value of. So we are going to put buildings on the asset side. When an asset increases, it comes on the asset side. So by buildings account. So the comparative increase is 80,000 minus 60,000, which is 20,000 to column. The next adjustment point number four, provision for bad debts to be raised to 2000. So provision for bad debts is a liability. Consider it to be a liability even though it is written on the asset side. Why? Because on the asset side we subtract it. So it's a liability which has come to the asset side so we subtract it. So here it is again raised to 2000. Already we have 1000 rupees, now it has increased. So when a liability increases, it will go to the debit side. So to provision for bad debts. So 2000 minus 1000, we get a balance of 1000 rupees, which is the increase. Next, moving on into point number 5, stock to be depreciated by 2000. Stock is an asset and it is depreciated. So, decrease in the value of asset again comes on the debit side. So, to stock account and they have given it is depreciated by, by, by. So, write the same amount over here that is 2000. So, with this all the adjustments are over. So, I am going to leave around 6 lines and draw the grand total on both the sides. That is on the debit and on the same line on the credit side also. Now, comparing the debit and the credit, on the credit side I have 24,000 whereas on the debit side I have 3,000. So, 24,000 is my greatest total. So, I am going to put the 24,000 in the grand total on both the sides the debit side as well as on the credit side so now moving on to the least side the least side is going to be my debit side which is only 3000 so the answer which i get on the least side is called as a revaluation profit so this revaluation profit is transferred to all the three partners capital account so first let's find out the profit so 24,000 minus 3,000, we will get 21,000. This 21,000 has to be split up among the three partners in the ratio given in the problem. 
so the revaluation profit is 21000 so addition of 4 is to 3 is to 3 4 plus 3 plus 3 is 10 so this 21000 is going to be divided by 10 so when we divide by 10 we get 2100 so 2100 into 4 for saran 2100 into 3 for Arun and 2100 into 3 for Karan. So you get 8400 for Saran, 6300 for Arun and 6300 for Karan. When we add, we should get back the 21000. So now let's take these three values and put it into the revaluation account. So the split up of the revaluation profit for the three partners are done. Next, we are going to open up the capital account. So, let's start with the capital account. So, whenever we start with the capital account, see that you start with the credit side, the first item being the opening balance, that is buy balance brought down. So, this buy balance brought down, we can take it from the capital account given in the problem, that is the liability side capital account, which is given in the problem. So, we got 60,000 for Saran, 50,000 for Arun, and 40,000 for current. So next we are going to transfer the revaluation profit. So revaluation profit is on the debit side. So from this side I am going to take it to the opposite which is the credit side of the capital account. So buy revaluation profit or I can just write by revaluation account. The split up is already done. So 8400, 6300 and 6300. Next I am going to do is the general reserve, the accumulated reserve given on the liability side. So if it is on the left side page, it goes to the right side page of the capital account. So my general reserve also comes to the credit side by general reserve account and this general reserve must be split up among the partners so the general reserve is 15000 and the ratio is 4 is to 3 is to 3 so when we add 4 plus 3 plus 3 we get 10 so 15000 divided by 10 we get 1500 this 1500 should be split up for the partners in their ratio so 1500 into 4 1500 into 3 and 1500 into 3 so when we multiply we get 6000 we get 4500 and 4500 so when we add we should get back the 15000 of general reserve so these three values are going to be transferred into the capital account Finally, we have is the goodwill of the firm which is valued at 21,000. So first we are going to find out the share of goodwill for the retiring partner and that share will be split up to the continuing partners. So goodwill of the firm is 21,000 and current share is 21,000 into current ratio is 4 is to 3 is to 3. Thra current is the last partner. So 3 by the addition of all the ratio 10. So when we divide it, we get 2,100 into 3. So when we multiply 2,100 into 3, we get 6,300. So we get 6,300 which is current share. So this current share must be split up for the continuing partners. The continuing partners are Saran and Arun. So... 6300 into now the remaining of the ratio is 4 is to 3 we do not have a gaining ratio in this sum therefore we continue with the old ratio which is remaining for the partners 4 is to 3 so 4 by 7 and the same comes for Arun also 6300 into 4 by 7 so 7 goes 1 63 goes 9 times so 900 into 4 is 3600 for Saran the same division here so it becomes sorry this is 3 by 7 so it becomes 3 nines are 2700 so you get 3600 and 2700 when you add this two we should get back 6300 which is a goodwill so this goodwill is going to be adjusted on a basis of a journal entry so journal entry in which is going to be transferred to the capital account is Saran's capital account data, Arun's capital account data to Karan's capital account. The gist of the journal entry is continuing. These two partners are the continuing partners. 
to the retiring partner so this is the journal entries just so continuing partners account data to the retiring partners so saran share is 3600 arun share is 2700 which is given by karan which is 6300 so this is how we are going to post it into the capital account now so first we are going to do saran's capital account so we have to go into the capital account and saran's capital account is in the debit so go to the debit side and write the opposite account which is to current's capital account so this is how the journal entry is going to be that is saran's capital account data to uh, sorry saran's capital account data arun's capital account data to current's capital account and uh, saran's share is 3600 arun's share 2700 which is given by current which is 6300 the gist of the journal entry is the continuing partners to retiring partner so the continuing partners are saran and arun to the retiring partner who's current so if you are going to transfer this into the capital account saran's capital account data if you are doing we should go to the debit side of the capital account and write to current's capital account so moving to the debit side of the capital account to current's capital account and we will put the value in saran's column the amount which saran is going to take it up now next when we are doing arun's capital account data so again go to the debit side of the capital account and write the opposite account which is to current's capital account so so again to the debit side of the capital account i have already written to current's capital account so uh, it is inappropriate i write it again so i am going to put the value alone into arun's column next moving on into current's capital account so current's capital account is in the credit of the journal entry so we should go to the credit side of the capital account and write the opposite and journal entries which is saran's capital account data and arun's capital account data so coming to the credit side of the capital account we are going to write by saran's capital account by arun's capital account so now the value will fall into the opposite partner that is current's column so the value for saran is 3600 his share and arun which is 2700 so with this all the adjustments regarding to the capital account is over so we are going to draw the line for the grand total and we are going to do the grand total now on both the sides in the same line so now it is clear that when whenever we do a capital account the balance falls on the debit side the carry down balance especially so two balance carry down will fall on the debit side now current is a partner who is retiring so he will not get a balance and when we look at the sixth point given in the problem current is not paid immediately so the balance of current is transferred to current's loan account if he is paid immediately it will go inside bank it will be to bank account and the amount in the current's column so here he since he is not been paid immediately it will go inside current's loan account value will fall inside current's column so let's add up saran first so adding up saran we get 74400 so let's write that down on both the sides 74400 so subtracting 74400 from 3600 we get 70800 as a carry down balance because they are continuing partners moving on into arun so adding arun's column we get Sixty thousand eight hundred. So put that sixty thousand eight hundred on both the sides as a grand total. And when we subtract sixty thousand eight hundred with two thousand seven hundred, we get fifty eight thousand one hundred as a balance carried on because Arun also is continuing. Next, moving on into Karan's column. So when we add Karan's column, so we get fifty seven thousand hundred. 
So put the 57,100 on both the sides as a grand total. Now this 5700 minus nothing over here. So this entire amount goes inside Karan's loan account. So now after finishing it, we are going to take this two balance carry down and bring it to the opposite side as brought down so that it will be clear for us when we do a balance sheet easily we can take and we can put the values inside the liability side for the capital account. 70,800 and 58,100 for Arun. So let's start with the balance sheet. So starting with the balance sheet. Whenever we start, start with the adjustments. The first adjustment is goodwill which we have already completed with the capital account. The next is machinery. Machinery is an asset and preferably starting with the asset side is a good thought. So writing out machinery on the asset side, the value of machinery on the asset side is 40,000. So put that from the balance sheet in the inner column. Now they said machinery is appreciated. Appreciation means increase in the value of assets so add appreciation of 10 percentage which is 4000 so we get 44000 for machinery in the outer column moving on to the next adjustment is buildings which is valued at 80000 buildings again is an asset so put that on the asset side and the value of buildings from the balance sheet is 60000 and they've said it has increased to 80,000. So the difference of increase is 20,000 and which is going to be again an appreciation. Next we have is provision for bad debts. Provision for bad debts will be adjusted with debtors. So debtors in the problem is 25,000. So less provision for bad debts and it has increased to 2000 so put the 2000 subtract it and you get 23000 on the outer column next we have final amount due to current is not paid immediately which is going to go to the liability side so for now let it be now i'm going to finish off the remaining items on the asset side so remaining items on the asset side are investment which is 20,000 outer column stock oh yeah we left off stock the fifth point stock to be depreciated by 2000 so stock also is an asset so we're going to finish off stock which is depreciated so the value of stock from the balance sheet is 12,000 it is depreciated by 2,000 so when we subtract the 2,000 we get 10,000 in the outer column so apart from that the remaining item is cash at bank the last item on the asset side which is 44,000 so the asset side is over Next, moving on to the liability side. Whenever we start the liability side, start with the capital account. So, capital account is the continuing partners. So, the partners who are continuing are Saran and Arun. So, these values can be taken from the capital account brought down balances. So when we look at the capital account brought down balances, we have the balance of the capital account for Saran and Arun, 70,800 and 58,100. So on the liability side, we've recorded 70,800 and 58,100. So when we add it, we get 1,28,900. So next uh, we have uh, is the final settlement of the retiring partner is transferred to the loan account so that we shouldn't forget to write so currents loan account so this also can be got from the capital account over here so the capital account we've already written two currents loan account 5700 so that is going to be transferred to the balance sheet 57,100 
the remaining what we have the adjustments are over so the remaining what we have is only the creditor general reserve is already completed in the capital account so the creditors is 35000 so with this the balance sheet is over so come to the end of the balance sheet and draw the grand total on both the sides So when we add, we should get the same answer. So in the balance sheet, we get the total as 2,21,000 on both the sides. If my video was helpful, please do subscribe, comment, like and share.